Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys solar systems. So today we are on part 135 of this series now and we have got one system to check out on Discord from the user Noah. So yeah, a massive thank you to them for sending this system in. Yeah guys, if you would like to send in your own systems for this series, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, then you can upload it in our dedicated upload chat. Or you can let me know the name of your system on the workshop in the comments, but please note it's a less reliable way of getting a system in. I may not see the comments. It could go in the spam box and all that. So just please keep um yeah keep uh, aware of that but yeah um, with that all out of the way let's get into this system so this is the ultra system and then from the user noah so let's go ahead and check this out so let's see what he has been prepared for us here right so ultra here we go right it's looking pretty fancy so far right what have we got right okay so there's no reading we can get straight into it we have got 2,000 objects, there must be a set of rings, right, onto the star, right, here we go, so that is pretty much the sun, right there, just renamed, so there we go, onto the first object, a blue bell, and already starting off with a very good looking world there, very, very nice indeed, we'll go on a uh, realistic, there we go, looks like there may be multiple stars in here, just by the way the lighting is, but yeah, that is a beauty, let's just get a look underneath the atmosphere, and then the clouds. So that's what it looks like underneath. So it's definitely got some modded features to it. Because it seems to be very, very bright and reflective. Definitely looks like there's some sort of modding going on there. But yeah, very, very nice looking object indeed there. So there is Bluebell. Great start. Next up, we have got Lemon. And oh my god. Whoa. Damn. That reminds me of the first ever pictures of Saturn's moon Titan that Voyager took. Like the really brightly coloured Titan and all that. I mean, look at this. Wow. That's what it looks like underneath. That is a crazy atmosphere. Wow. That's definitely a custom, special custom colour because normal yellow wouldn't look like that. This has got some sort of modded. Yeah, that's what it would normally look like. But that's, yeah, that, that's definitely got some sort of special uh, modded um, thing going on right there. And then we have Lemon S1, which is a modded Mercury cut. You can see that's a Mercury texture just uh, recolored there. Looking great. And then onto the other objects, we've got a bunch of mini moons. And yeah, it just appears to be mini moons. But let's just go ahead and reload it so we can get that, uh, the actual card poster that like back. But yeah, that is a great looking world there. Really, really like this. That's a beauty. Maybe I'll have to bring it into my uh, warm coloured solar system. I mean, that would fit in that perfectly. I mean, that is a great, that's a great, great find there. Very nice. All right, next up we got Ori Saturn over here. So what have we got? Right, we'll go back on a realistic as well. So there we are. So let's get a look underneath these thick white clouds and stuff. So there we go. So yeah, very thick atmosphere as we can see. But there is the world underneath. And then uh, the stats, 92 and 68. There we go. Looking good. So there's Ori Saturn. Next up, we have got Nanton over here. This is a gas giant. Quite a chocolate sort of coloured. Um, all these shades it has there. And it's got some moons. So here we go. It's quite an ocean heavy object here. So this has decent stats on it. And it's also got some other small objects. Let's see what else we've got. Um, all got a uh, another a green one here. So we've got a nice green looking mode, and it looked like to be it looked like an object. Yeah, that looks like Planet Nine. One of my uh, my custom Planet Nine there. Very nice indeed. And then we've got Object F, another one of these highly reflective worlds. I love worlds like this. They look great. So that's what it looks like underneath. So yeah, all ocean, but yeah, crazy atmosphere to go on top. Very nice indeed. So there is Object F. Right. Now moving on, right, we are heading to Luminous. Oh, and I've seen this before. Yeah, I remember this. I've seen this in other people's systems. So, yeah, here we go. So it's just a crazy banded Neptune Blue lookalike right here with some white bands in there as well. So, yeah, crazy object there. And it's got a moon Luminous B in a lime green color. And that is very, very attractive. Very, very bright. But, yeah, there we go. So look underneath. There you go. It's a dark underneath. But, yeah, just crazy crazy atmosphere on top of it there looking good so there is luminous b and then we've done nanton right so we are heading out to a blank next so this is a green gas giant all the way over here so yeah all green and it's got some moons oh that's a beauty oh look at that so there this oh, this um, system is full of reflective bright objects I'm loving it so there we go so um, a nice blue one there then further out so these are all just mini ones, yep, yeah, all little asteroids. But yeah, that's a beauty, that blue one there. Right, uh, next object out. So Geranium over here. It's a crazy banded object. Here are the rings. So it's got two shades of rings. So it's got a lighter shade and a darker shade of rings. You can see them well there. 
So looking good. Yeah, nice mix of bands in there. Quite a lot of them too. So there we go. Go right into galactic. What have we got over here? Another blue banded object all the way over here. So there we go. Kind of looks like one of the planet nines, but with some darker blue uh, bands in it as well. There and intergalactic B over here. Another green object with a white atmosphere. There we go. Looking good. Awesome. Yeah, some real highlights in this system. Really, really enjoying this. Right, um, so we've done all of those. We've done blank. Right, next up we are heading to Omega over here. A second star. Okay, so second star. And this has got a few objects around it. So we've got lime over here. So yeah, pretty hatable looking world with some, yeah, lime green atmosphere. Looks to be a Venus texture under all that. Yeah, green Venus. Looking good. And then um, on here. Yeah, it has no oceans. Just a similarity to Earth. Then we've got Nymphs over here. Oh, and that's a beautiful looking world as well. Oh my god, look at that. Wowee. So that, yeah, there's definitely some modding been going on here for these objects. Because, yeah, you can't obtain these normally. But, yeah, that's a great looking world there. Loving it. So there's sort of different versions of, like, what my custom Venus looks like. So looking good. Right. So that is the whole system now, guys. So there we go. Right. Let's get a lineup of this. And yeah, this is a good one. Really, really enjoyed this. So uh, we'll move the rings just so we can navigate easier. So obviously onto the planets here. Right. My fa Oh, these objects. Just just look at these. The blue one. There's a green one. The yellow one. The, the other blue. I mean, this is just... Oh, I love these. Wow. Those are my favorites by far. And we're going to go on make life here. We are going to put them all together because these these objects are awesome. So let's go on a we're going to studio. Let's just drag them out. So these are definitely going in the thumbnail. These objects. So there we go. Uh, there we are. And then the yellow one down here. And then the blue one. So there's a, there's definitely five of them in here. This one's slightly different. I have to say the bluebell one does appear slightly different. It's got its atmosphere is not as thick, but yes, yeah, these are the main ones here. So we need to put them to about one thousand. So twelve thousand. Sorry. So right there we go. And then uh, drag it away. 12,000, like so, yeah, look at this, there you go, so that's all of them lined up, we'll put them in a colour order as well, so, check those out, oh, those are absolutely beautiful, loving it, I love these modded objects, these look great, and then I'm not sure whether to include this one, yeah, I'd say, I'd say that would be, yeah, really, really like these, so, yeah, th those are my highlights of the whole system, these are the best objects, 100%, if you ask me, my opinion, they look great. I mean, th this one as well, that fiery looking colored one. I really like the uh, mix of the purple and blue there. Lime green, the regular blue. I mean, picking a favorite out of those. Wow, that's a hard one. But yeah, onto the gas giants here. I mean, but they're, they're just kind of overlooked with how good those objects look. But yeah, here, the gas giants, a full lineup of those. Mostly blue ones um, after all there. So yeah, there are the gas giants. And we have the other rocky planets as well. Lots of greens in here, as we can see. This Mercury um, looked quite good, I have to say. I really like the colours and that. And then that green Venus, also quite a good-looking world um, right there. But, yeah, there we go. So that is the Ultra System by Noah from Discord. So a massive thank you to them for sending this in. Really enjoyed this. And, yeah, hopefully you guys did too. But, yeah, again, if you want to send in your own systems, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, or let me know the name of it on the workshop in the comments. But, yeah, other than that, guys great one really enjoyed um today's one but yeah uh, make sure you all uh, um have a great day subscribe for more helps on journey to 15,000 subscribers uh, let's see if we can go for 20 likes on today's video guys and of course make sure to stay safe and yeah have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye